And Bill, can you just talk briefly about the final consideration for the Westwater transaction? Yeah, you know, we um, we paid, um, oh, what was it, about $1.7, $1.8 million in our stock. Uh, amounted to about two and a half million shares. Don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but they're on the on the press release there. And uh, a little over one percent, one and a half, almost two percent of the stock uh, for quite a nice um, uh, asset package. Uh, more than doubled our historic resources, and uh, of course, the, the significant uh, aspect of it, uh, most significant immediate aspect, were those two production facilities. And uh, with with minimal renovation, uh, under a million bucks in under 12 months, uh, Rosita will be ready to uh, flip the switch on. Uh, it's been maintained very well and, and renovated, so we're we're quite happy about that, and and obviously even happier in that the share price consideration was based on the closing price of the Encore shares uh, rather than when we announced it. So when we announced it, we were at about 35 cents, if I'm not mistaken, 34, 35 cents. The transaction was priced at 89 and a fraction, so a little over 89 cents. So those being Canadian numbers, you know, it, it turned out to be, um, you know, a real windfall for us and uh, beneficial for Westwater as well as they've moved their focus entirely into graphite. A win-win situation, and uh, certainly gives us a, a great platform to uh, advance the uranium now. Yeah, big difference in the share price uh, just between the announcement and the closing. So uh, good on you on that part of it and, and how you guys structured that. I think it worked out to to your guys' benefit. 